Oh, there you are, YouTube. Doo 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 doo. Subscribe if you're interested, but also no pressure. But if you did, I'd greatly appreciate it. Hey, so today we're gonna do an unboxing. This unboxing comes from Prime Day. Basically, what happens is Amazon has these special allotted days where things are deeply on sale. And the items that I bought, I actually planned on buying during Target's buy two, get one free sale. But I accidentally waited too long. I had them in my shopping cart, and then by the time that sale ended, um, I was unable to buy them because I, I, I waited too long. So what I did was I shifted those purchases to Prime Day. I was like, okay, instead I'm gonna buy these on Prime Day. But unfortunately, um, because I missed the two for one, or sorry, the uh, three for two sale, um, I wasn't able to get three items. So I only got two items, two on sale items. So one of the things I wanted to get at Target, I have to wait on, um, but that's okay because I think they'll have a sale later. It was, a, it was an Arrow title that I wanted to get. So the Arrow title, I'm just going to wait until Arrow has a 50% off sale at Barnes & Noble or on their own website and then pick that title up. Um, so yeah. But anyway, what we have here is a box with some movies in it. And I'm excited for these films. Very excited for them. Uh, actually did deviate a little bit more from my initial plan, which was at Target, right? planned on ordering three films um and then again it, it turned into me only buying two films and then out of the three that I originally wanted to purchase I altered it and on Amazon and only picked up one of those films and then opted for something else so I'll get into all of that once I open it this box right here should we create a thumbnail really quick hello what mail an unboxing Huh? Thumbnail? Whoa. Can you believe it? Ha! Mayo! All right, so let's get in here. We got the box. I forgot my box cutter, but I got some sizzies right here. So we're going to dig in. We don't want any damage to the objects. What I purchased are some movies, 4K style. I can't remember if Blu-ray is included or not. We've cut through the package. Next step is opening it. I always like that part in, um, what is it, uh, Tommy Boy? When he's like, when uh, Dan Aykroyd's like, you've identified the smell, the next step is... <laughs> Uh, what does he say? I can't even remember it. You've identified the smell. The next step is eliminating it. Gosh, I can't remember now. But anyway, that part always made me laugh. I love that uh, Dan Aykroyd's in that. I love Dan Aykroyd, man. He's great. Right now, it looks like a box full of paper. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Okay, so my stepfather, who has passed, my late stepfather, would be very proud of me for what I bought today. Now, this is a genre that I never got too deeply into on my own. In the 90s, there was a sect of this genre that I was into. Films like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles trilogy. Uh, films like Surf Ninjas. Films like Three Ninjas. Uh, so martial arts films were never a part of my uh, deep dive into cinema unless it was those films I just mentioned. But my stepfather is very into martial arts films. And um, he's no longer here and I regret not doing a deeper dive with him on those films. Um, I don't know. Watch the movies your parents are inter interested in because, um, you know, you can talk with them about them. It was one of his interests. 
and I watched a few with him, but I never got into them deeply, and now I kind of regret that, because I would have loved to have heard more about this genre that he loves so much. Kind of like westerns, he also really loved westerns, and one of my favorite parts of watching westerns with my stepdad was less watching the western, but watching him watch the western because he knew these movies inside and out and he would just quote them as they were happening. Like I remember watching High Plains Drifter with him and like I'm watching the movie, but I'm also keeping an eye on him because he is just quoting the film, which is stuff I do with a lot of the movies I grew up with in the 90s, but it was just really cool to see that with a genre rather than an era. Cause to me it's, it's more of like an era of like, like, I don't know, like family films from the 90s. I, I know Inside and Out, right? And he knew that with uh, the Western genre, Spaghetti and American. And he was just like so good at it. And I just, I loved watching those movies with him. But anyway, um, yeah, he did introduce me to a few, um, oh, darn it, I think this is damaged. I can feel it. Blast. I'm going to have to return this, I think. But, um... He did introduce me to quite a few um, martial arts films, and that's where we're going to start. And this this film uh, particularly is interesting because I had never seen it. I never watched it with my stepfather or anything, uh, but I have seen it, and I watched it uh, through um, a, a um, uh, you know uh, Dell on movies. He has this segment on his channel called Movie Swap, and he and I did a movie swap. I gave him Lady in the Water, which is a movie I champion all the time by M. Night Shyamalan, and he gave me The Last Dragon, and I was very excited to... Well, I wasn't... I don't know if I was excited to see this, actually, because... It's not, again, it's not a genre I'm that into, but I knew my stepfather was into this genre, so I was like, okay, I'll check it out. But the interesting thing about it is I love Buster Rhymes and, it, you know, I, I, I listened to his music as I was coming up and I didn't realize <laughs> that his music video uh, for If You Really Want to Party With Me, Show Me What You Got For Me, Put Your Hands Where My Eyes Can See is very much based off of this film. And I just thought that was all out of Busta Rhymes' mind. I didn't realize that it was based off of something else, that it was based off of The Last Dragon. I haven't even said the title yet. So I picked up The Last Dragon. Now this is a 4K steelbook. I feel a bulge right here. So I'm gonna have to look into that to see if that is just glue from the J, J card here or if this is um, an issue with the packaging, it feels like it's, you know what? Initially I thought it was the packaging, but it could be glue from the J, J card underneath. But otherwise, I think this looks really good. I don't see any other dents. And actually if I look at the top, it doesn't seem like there's any evidence that would have bulged this area out. So that could just be glue that I'm looking at right there. Um, 1985 Tristar Pictures, Barry Gordy's The Last Dragon. Yeah, I don't know. This may be an actually pristine condition. We'll see. But, again, I'm very excited to have this in the collection. When I saw that this was announced, it was one that I wanted to pick up right away, but it actually got past me. Um, and I believe my timeline is correct, or at least when I first heard about it, I wanted to pick it up because of that experience I had on Dell's channel uh, when we did the movie swap and I watched this and I loved it. I thought it was great and um, it made me sad, you know, that my stepfather's no longer with us and that I wasn't able to watch this movie with him and I'm sure he'd seen this movie and he probably loved this movie and I wish it was one that I could experience with him, watching it with him, because uh, I think it would be I just think it would be a, a great, fun experience to watch it with him. <clears throat> and I'm going to give a little bit of information away. This is a video that I have planned down the road. I haven't even started it yet, but my stepfather, 
is in the movies and he was in a movie um with a uh, um gosh got got to get the name here vanity sorry i was missing missing her name there i had to look in the back vanity he's in a movie with vanity not this movie but a different movie um but again i plan on making a video on that much later um when i don't know down the road talking about all the films my stepfather's in um but yeah i uh i don't know that's one of my gr regrets in life was not getting deeper into that genre with him you know with with westerns i kind of had an in with in tiny bit of of martial arts but it was just never a strong genre for me even though it was for him like he you know he showed me ong bak uh he liked that movie and and stuff like that but um yeah i don't know after watching this and you know he liked hip-hop rap music and uh i like busta rhymes and Busta Rhymes music video based off of this. I, d I don't know. We just I just feel like we could have had a lot of great, rich, awesome discussions about this movie. And I don't know. I, j I just it's weird. I, I I you know obviously think of that great experience of watching this uh, for Dell's channel, but after watching it, it makes me think of my stepdad, even though. I didn't see it with him. Uh, it just like makes me think of him because I know he probably had seen this. He probably loved it. And it's one that I wish I could have seen and then been like, hey, I saw this. Have you seen it? And then he would have been like, yeah, let's talk about it. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, The Last Dragon, so excited to include this. I do want to inspect it because... There is a little lump right here, but it could be the glue. I think it might be the glue holding on the, the J card there. So, The Last Dragon. I picked that up, and I was like, you know what? I know The Last Dragon because I've seen it, and you know they go to the movie theater, and if I recall correctly, again, I'm not, I'm not well-versed in the genre of martial arts. If I recall correctly, they are watching a movie in the theater in that film, and I think the movie they're watching, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, but the movie they're watching is a Bruce Lee film. And is that Bruce Lee film, let me know if I'm wrong, is that Bruce Lee film that they are watching, is it Enter the Dragon? Because if it's Enter the Dragon, I just ordered Enter the Dragon. Check this out. Check this purchase out right here. I'm talking about a sun right there. I'm talking about a sun right there on both of these. Look at the coloration of the two of them. They just look as if they pair so well together. So Enter the Dragon, another one I haven't seen. Uh, my stepfather, very deep into this genre. I'm sure it was one of his favorites. And I think my dad actually uh, had seen this also because I believe... Um, that doesn't really look like I'm up front there, but um, is... Kareem in this movie? Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? Is that Kareem right there? I don't think that looks like Kareem, but maybe it is. Uh, but my dad would always talk about Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Thought he was cool. Um, I don't see his name here, but maybe this is it. I don't know. That doesn't look like him. I don't think that's him. Um, but anyway... Uh, yeah, my stepdad's really deep in, was really deep into this genre, and I don't know, I kind of want to, like, make up for the times I missed, you know? Could have been, could have been watching these with him. I watched westerns with him mostly, if we were watching our horror films also, uh, but not much of this, uh, genre. So, I kind of, I kind of wanted to do that. So, uh, remember when I talked about the Target deal where it was buy two, get a third one free? This was a part of that. I had this in my shopping cart. I missed out. What else did I have on there? Um, shoot. Well, I don't know. Maybe I should wait, but I'll let you know one of them. One of them was Point Break. I've talked about Point Break a lot. I want to get Point Break. I don't want the Steelbook of Point Break because Keanu's not on the cover. I want to get the Shout Factory one 
with the slip because Keanu's on the cover. And then there was another one, but I think I'll buy that one a little later. So I'll hold off on that one. Um, also because I don't know much about it. But, so yeah. This one was originally in that Target buy two, uh, get a third one free. This one, however, uh, when I missed out on that order, I was like, I still definitely want to get this. And then this prop cop popped up as one of those, you know, it was like, people who bought this also bought this. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to be that other person who also bought this. So yeah, both of these movies I got on Prime Day for a really good deal. Um, so very excited about that to add these. Excited to finally see this. I, I excited to watch this again. I want to show this into my wife, see what she thinks. Um, and also a huge shout out to Dell for showing me this movie, uh, putting it on the list of movies to choose from. And this is the one I ended up picking and, um, I, I dig it and I love it. And it like, again, it, it, it uh, makes me think of my youth, of listening to Busta Rhymes, but it also makes me think of my stepdad, who really loved the genre, and it makes me miss him and wish I had seen this movie uh, when he was around or watch it with him. Um, it's, it's weird to feel nostalgic for something that I'd never... You know, like, it, it, I don't know. Does, does this make sense? It's like I, I feel nostalgic... When I think of this movie, even though I only recently watched it, but it makes me feel nostalgic for the past. It makes me feel nostalgic for my stepfather and uh, him watching movies. I mean, he's one of the main reasons I'm into movies. I feel like I got like, you know, five strong things that really make me a movie lover, and and he's one of them. And his his experience being in films and watching movies with him and uh, going to the theater with him and renting movies and him giving me bootlegs and sneaking me into theaters and things like that. Like, I don't know. I just got a lot of memories, great memories of him and movies. So I don't know. I'm super hyped to have both of these in the collection. Um, and again, thank you, Dell, for introducing me to this. And because you introduced me to this, it makes me want to check out this more. So uh, I'm excited to have these in the collection. Again, these came from Prime Day on Amazon. Uh, and they just arrived today. So thank you so much for watching. What's your experience with these movies? Do you know them? Do you know them well? Let me know in the comments below. Tell me what you think of them, especially this one here. Uh, I, I haven't seen it, so I'd love to know your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching, and perhaps we'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.